Welcome to the overview of Badger, the SNSF and SNF lab management software. For information on how to install the Badger software, visit the lab members section of the SNF or SNSF websites. Today we'll focus on the user interface and go over the key functionalities of reserving and enabling tools, as well as other actions such as reporting problems, paying for supplies, and reviewing usage. I've got the two different clients open now. Once your accounts have been approved, you will be able to log in to the respective client. Within each client, you will see a panel on the left that lists instrumental capabilities and a panel on the right that will display the bulk of information. There's also a drop-down menu ribbon across the top. You can see that the SNSF and SNF clients have different tools, but otherwise look identical with all of the same functionality. I'll go ahead and zoom in on the SNSF Badger so we can see the interface better. Click on a tool in the left-hand panel to open its calendar in the right-hand panel. The calendar starts at midnight or 000 and increases in 30-minute increments based on the 24-hour time standard with calendar visibility up to two weeks in advance. To be able to reserve time on a tool, you will need to be qualified on the tool by going through the training procedures. If you are qualified on the tool, you will see an asterisk next to the tool name. If you are not yet qualified, there will be no asterisk. I'm not qualified on the DECTAC profiler, but I am for the web benches. To reserve time, drag and drop on an empty time block on the tool that you want to use. Right click and select make reservation. You can also go to the action ribbon up top and select reservation actions make. If you have different PTAs, you can choose to have the time charged to a different project budget. Click OK to confirm the reservation or click iCalendar to confirm and have an email sent to you with an attachment for your personal calendar. If you want to remove a reservation, right-click on your time slot and select Delete. At the time of your reservation, you will be able to turn on the physical tool by enabling the instrument. Click Equipment Actions and click Enable. Once you click Enable, you will start being charged for tool time until you click Disable. When a tool is enabled, you will see your email next to the tool name. To Disable, choose Disable under the drop-down menu and you will see your email disappear next to the tool name. Now I'll switch over to the SNF Badger client so you can see its instrumental options. The status of a tool is indicated by the icon next to its name. A green icon means the tool is functional, an orange icon means that there is a reported problem but the tool is still running, and the red icon indicates that the tool is shut down and unusable. You can see more info on the status of the tool by opening the tool's maintenance tab, which lists previously reported comments or issues. You can read the subject of the message by clicking show message at the bottom. Some message types are called comments, which don't change the status of the tool, but can have useful information. Make sure to regularly check out the maintenance tab. You are encouraged to report comments or problems under the equipment actions dropdown menu. Be aware that submitting your report only notifies the tool staff. For serious issues, make sure to email all users via the instrument listserv. You can also use Badger as a purchasing interface to pay for consumables used during an instrumental process or to check out items from the physical SNF stockroom. To do so, select Supplies and then Check Out. Under SNF Stockroom, you can purchase things like cleanroom supplies and wafers, and under Ensil, you can document how much of a precious metal was used, selecting the item to populate the checkout and then indicating the quantity. We can hide the checkout interface by selecting Hide Supply Tree. If you want to see how your tool time was recorded, the history of a tool's usage can be found under the History tab. You can select a block of time to see details on the tool usage, and you can change the dates of the calendar window by selecting Next or Previous in the drop-down menu. Additionally, if you want to see a summary of all of your tool time and how much you are being charged, you can click Reports and then Financial Detail or Summary. Choose a specific facility, and then input the desired time range. You can see how much you used the tool and how much you were charged. It is recommended you check your financial report at the end of every month to catch any incorrect charges. Lastly, if you want to change your Badger password, you can do so by selecting Window and then Change Password. That concludes the Badger overview. Remember to disable the tool via Badger when you are finished using it, 
and be sure to honor your reservations out of respect for your fellow lab members.